Hello YouTube, welcome to Big Time Nights, here for a movie review. This is new, new thing for the channel, but I watch a lot of movies, so why not get my, you know, a movie review from an average movie goer. Um, or more than average, you know, I, I go to movies a lot, I, I enjoy it. <laughs> but, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I'm a, I never played the tabletop game. I have experience, a lot of experience, playing like RPGs. And RPGs all came from pretty much Dungeons and Dragons. This is like the origin of all role-playing games. I might be mis mistaken, but you know that's where it is. And then Dungeons and Dragons before that was you know Tolkien. Um, but anyways, <laughs> uh, what do I think about the movie? Uh, it was delightful, entertaining. Um, it had its moments um, throughout, uh, like in the middle of it sometimes, where um, it was a little dull. I was a little too comfortable, I guess, so sometimes I catch myself almost nodding, but at some points, but all the major like plot points, um, action scenes were really good, um, uh, really uh, um, attention to detail with it too with people who are probably familiar with the lore or Dungeons and Dragons got it a lot more. Um, I did, you know, for the most part, um, I got a, a lot of it. Um, when they were talking about um, in in the um, underground area where, you know, they, the fat dragon, um, when they were talking about crossing the bridge, uh, the knight, uh, who's the knight? Uh, Zinc, the knight. Um, or the paladin <laughs> He uh, was going over how to cross it and he was like you got to roll Odds and then go forward and then halfway through you roll evens and <laughs> Like I, I believe that's what people kind of do in the games and whatnot um, But that was that was pretty funny. Yeah, the plot was you know, it's it's a simple plot, you know uh, I want to bring my my wife back, you know, she died from these sorcerers and want to get this item that can bring her resurrect her but they're not going to dive deep into the complications of bringing back the dead but at the end they don't really get there so that's because that's a whole nother kind of ballpark that is a subject that's really hard to get into like do you really want to raise like the dead you know, like bring your dead wife back like 12 years later and then the implications of how how might she feel about that uh and like there's a lot of wrong that could go with that but they didn't go there um and i'm glad they didn't go there you know um at the end they ended up bringing uh michelle rodriguez's character holga back um after she died at the end um but the plot was okay all right plot um as far as the action scenes, very good, very good, very entertaining. Um, the spellcrafts were really nice, um, and I could, you could tell, like, if you're a sorcerer or whatnot, like, the, the difference between a, a, a low-level sorcerer and a really high-level sorcerer, or a sorcerer that takes time to practice their craft throughout, which we see with um, Simon, Simon's character. In the very beginning, I guess he was a low level, very weak sorcerer, and then when we meet him again, it seems like he's low level, but he's practiced, he, he's he's honed his craft a little bit, but it's still not at the high tier, um, as we go, get with uh, Sophina's, um, that character. What about the, the look of the uh, movie? It looked fantastic. This it was a, a nice looking world. The yeah, the the set pieces, the 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 way the CGI, it looked very good. You know, it's uh, not I don't know. They're they're not going overboard with everything, but it's it's enough CGI to make it passable. So that's why I, what what I respect about it. So that was entertaining. What about the uh, jokes, the comedy? Um, the comedy. It was all right. It, it, I, I didn't. There was maybe a couple times where I, you know, chuckled a little bit more, <laughs> but uh, it, it it wasn't like 
as funny to me as it might be to other people, but that's all right. The acting, the acting was really good. I really like Chris Pine's acting, and, um, his character. Uh, I think Hugh Grant was a standout in his acting um, uh, portrayal of uh, Forge. Uh, I thought he did a really good job with that character. Uh, Michelle Rodriguez was who she is and everything. <laughs> uh, you know, that same, same kind of voice and all that, all that kind of stuff. When she died at the end, it reminded me <laughs> of the Resident Evil death that she had. <laughs> it was kind of funny when she was like, when she had the, uh, the stab, uh, the dagger in her chest that she was like, oh, it's not a good spot. <laughs> nope. My favorite, actually, yeah, I didn't bring it up, but my favorite part in the movie was actually like the when they go, went through the maze area. I think I, I thought that was pretty cool. The treasure chest that was like a monster uh, chest was cool because you see those in the games. I played the Dark Souls game, so you see it in that. But, but yeah, overall, um, I thought it was a delightful movie. So what would I give this out of 10? I want to encourage studios to make more movies like this. Um, I think they're, I think we need more of them. <laughs> it, it doesn't have to be the superhero stuff, but I, I love video games and all that kind of stuff. And, and I, I could see that more and more video game um, adaptations are starting to come out. And I, I did make a video of that. Um, adaptations, uh, movies, uh, uh, for gaming, uh, anime, and, uh, superheroes, and whatnot. But, uh, I do want, you know, more kind of serious video game adaptations to come to light, uh, and, and to get into production and not, not any of the silliness. Even though this movie is kind of silly, but it, it takes itself seriously too. It's in the world. You go into the world and you know it's it's believable in that world and it's not corny like the resident evil movies got Cor kind of corny man very corny what am i saying but yeah i, I want more of this uh, i want to encourage more of this uh so what i would give this movie i will give this um I, I i go by imdb ratings so there's no like 0.5s or anything like that so uh, i want to give this movie a seven I wanted to say, uh, I wanted to give it an a, a 8, but um, just because I want to encourage more movies like this, but uh, being honest with myself, it's a 7. There's more room for improvement. I don't know if they want to focus on the funny. Um, they don't have to, but it could go funny, it could go dark, and I do prefer more serious, darker stuff, but I also, I love, I love funny. If they want to develop and make more kind of Dungeon and Dragon movies, I, I'm down for it. And if, you know, me, you know, purchasing a ticket, hopefully the sales will go up and, and it encourages more, then, then hopefully we'll get better, better films and better, better movies into this kind of universe. My score will only go up from there. But yeah, overall, uh, it's, it's a movie that I think you should see and go support. Uh, this is my short little review of Dungeons and Dragons. Until next time, Big Time Nights out. Peace.